As things begin to open up again, you might have noticed something has been a little different in the air, especially as you walk past your favorite stores and restaurants. It seems like no one wants to work anymore. So you've got that 50% that's sitting at home, you got the other 50% that's coming out and doesn't care. So it's a face with the reality that a lot of the employees they had to lay off last year either are unable or just don't want to come back to work at this point. You know, the problem with people today is nobody wants to work. It seems like people aren't happy with going back to a 725 minimum wage in Pennsylvania, especially after receiving unemployment benefits. Everything from rent to groceries to medical bills has increased in cost, leaving our state's minimum wage to not be enough to sustain anyone and most pennsylvanians support raising the minimum wage so what's stopping us twelve dollars an hour or fifteen dollars an hour as the house democrats have proposed it's just not realistic in today's economic times these are the people who we have elected in office people who still think minimum wage jobs are for teenagers in high school who just want some pocket money we need to elect officials who represent our best interests. Increasing the minimum wage is only one way to help hardworking Pennsylvanians to achieve financial security, stability, and independence, and rely less on government subsidies. It's not that nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody wants to work for poverty wages with zero benefits. People need a living wage to survive and to live a better quality of life. And we know these corporations and businesses can afford to pay these wages. So what's stopping them? Register to vote and encourage others to do the same. Visit the new paproject.org to learn more and join our fight.